Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about Oracle slab processes. So, if you take an example, like you know, this is what we discussed in our uh, last, uh, you know, very beginning of our videos when we discussed about Oracle processes. So, we discussed that there are three types of Oracle processes. One is server processes, that is your called dedicated server or shared server, dispatchers, and all those things as a part of your server processes. Then we discussed about background processes. Examples are log writer, db writer, memory manager, pmon, smon, and so on. Okay. So now the last, uh, you know, you know, lecture is about the slab processes and what are the slab processes and why we need them. And then we are just going to give some examples and then wrap up our Oracle processes, uh, you know, chapter. So. So essentially, this is what uh, is uh, really happen. Like you know, say for example, uh, this is your buffer cache. So this is your buffer cache in the uh, in the SGA, and then essentially, what happens is that we are you know the DB writer background process is going to write to the data file. Okay, let's say this is your data file. So it's going to write to the data uh, file. So as you know, like you know, when the checkpoint occurs, but DBW, DBWR is going to write from the buffer cache to the uh, data file, and that is called checkpointing, or that is called flushing of buffer cache. Okay. So when you, you flush only on when checkpoint happens. So essentially, what it does, like you know, it gives you know, DB writer collects these blocks. Okay, so collects this dirty dirty buffer blocks and give it gives back to operating system. Okay, and then operating system is going to you know basically you know whatever you are doing f write in a C right whenever you do f write so basically essentially you are giving the character or whatever you want to write to operating system, and operating system is then going to, operating system kernel is going to take care of the writing to the actual disk. All right, so that is called asynchronous I/O or async I/O. That means what we want to do, we want to give this DBWR. You know, there are two works involved. One work is to collect these dirty buffers, and then the second one is to actual write. Actual write is not that important. Actual write can be done by um, by your operating system. Okay, so in that case, what we do, DB writer just comes and then you know grabs you know this buffer, you know, dirty buffers, and gives back to the operating system, and then then just goes and then to collect the next um, setup buffer. So that means DBWR is not going to be involved in the mundane work of writing to the data files. All right, so wh who does that? That is going to be done by operating system kernel. But if this is in in case of you know, this a hard drive is fine. If this is a tape drive, okay. If it's a tape drive, that is when we want to write an R man backup and all those things. So in that case, we cannot operating system cannot write to a tape drive. So in that case, what Oracle does? Oracle gives you additional slave processes. Slave processes. This slave processes is going to mimic the async I/O that used to be done by operating system for a normal disk drive okay so slaves you know so db, DB writer slaves are nothing but some you know you know some process which is going to do a operating system write to the tape drive or the drives where operating system cannot write in those cases we are going to use database writer slave processes okay so that is the uh, that is the one of the slave processes, and the second slave processes is comes from the Oracle Parallel Server. Okay. So let's say, uh, for example, uh, like you know, you like you know, basically before you know, so starting from Oracle seven dot one dot x six. Okay. Some Oracle seven dot seven dot one dot six. Oracle introduces a new type of query that is called Parallel Query. That means, if I want to select from a big table, then whatever the execution plan is going to be going to be created, that execution plan is going to be subdivided into multiple unit 
you know subunit program which can be run independently so essentially like like so with this parallel query option your plan the main plan is uh, this the plan main plan the main plan is going to divide it into multiple sub plans okay and then the process which is going to create this main plan and all these things this is called the coordinator okay so this is called the plan coordinator whereas these sub plans is going to be given by so for example in this case your dedicated server is the plan coordinator and what is going to happen is going to dedicated server is then going to give these sub plans small plans to the other processes which is called parallel query execution server processes okay that is called parallel query execution servers okay so in this case maybe we have four parallel query execution processes so therefore dedicated server is going to give the small plan to this parallel query execution servers they are going to execute the query that means they are going to go to the database data files and find the data and then they will give back to the plan coordinator in this case this is the dedicated server process and he is going to it, it, it dedicated server process is going to compile combine and integrate those data and then return to the requester who has requested this parallel query so this is a feature that is going to starting from 7.1.x and this is something equivalent to you know something a very I don't really know the real comparison but whatever you are doing nowadays map reduce or distributed computing and all those things so this is something similar to the map reduce that is started you know, way back in 2003 okay so that is what you know that is what Oracle's approach to parallel query and this is a slave process this slave process is works for the dedicated server so this is this is in accordance to what we dis discussed. Slave processes are the processes which either work for a for a server process or a background process. In case of in the writer, uh, you know the number one that we discussed. So in that case, it worked for the DB writer, which is a background process. In this case, the second example that we discussed in parallel query, this is working for a um, server process, which is dedicated server. So with this, uh, we cover all these videos about server processes and also with this, we cover everything that you know about Oracle architecture. So essentially what we have done so far, so this is the recap. So we say that Oracle server consists of two parts. One is called instance and second one is data files are popularly known as database and this whole to get whole things together call Oracle database server and Oracle database server is considered two things and then we discuss that in turn instances is going to be concept two parts that is your memory structure that is your SGA system global area and then a lot of background processes okay a lot of background processes and then we also discussed that data file consists of multiple different types of file like for example one of them is parameter file parameter file database file log file and so on and also we discussed that SGA is also again consist of different pools and we just also discussed what pools does what like you know what you know you know what what are the different roles you know responsibility of those pools and also we discuss about responsibility of background processes and I hope with this you know the, the first chapter of our Oracle DBA uh, sorry the you know the first thing first module of our Oracle DBA which is which is uh, about the Oracle architecture is somehow be clear and if it's not clear maybe it's my you know maybe something is wrong with me or something is wrong with you what I would like to do you you should read in a sequential order that means you know you we, we do that SCPT 
that is how we put in YouTube so you start with SCP-21 and then you go on increasing that way so that basically you know if you just go directly to SCP-10 then you may not understand what what we are talking about so just build based on the playlist and then also in our website whenever we are putting those things we are putting them in a particular order so try to read them try to understand them in an order and we will put lot of exercises lot of quizzes and all these things that will basically make you uh, you know that that will test your as given assessment if you understood or not and again please give us give us feedback in our forums so which is available in our website and then you know send us mail or send us messages on YouTube or whatever so try to reach out and then see like you know what is wrong in it wrong in this tutorial so that we can we'll, we can modify we can rectify those things so that we can we can make a really good list of Oracle server or whatever we are doing the videos thank you very much